Hi everybody, welcome to the second video on the Bougie Budget UK channel. Um, before I get started, I have to just say thank you so much for the unexpected and overwhelming support that you gave me on my first video. Um, I didn't expect <laughs> to get as many likes, comments, subscribers um, as I got so I just have to thank you guys so much. Um, I need to say a special thank you to Iris Budgets who mentioned me on her channel. Again I didn't expect anybody to shout me out um, but she took it upon herself to mention my um, channel and a lot of you came over um, from watching her video so thank you Iris um, and again thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed even though the first video was <laughs> chaotic to say the least um hopefully you will stick around and we will get this a bit slicker and a bit better so as i mentioned in my first video i cash stuff monthly when i get paid so what i want to do um on those weeks that i haven't been paid i'm gonna do a check-in of sorts and we'll talk more about that in a second um, and we'll have a little chit chat about a couple of things. Um, this week I've got some Happy Mail to show you and I have some side hustle money that I need to cash it off and I need to announce the giveaway winner. So let's start with the check-in. Let me get rid of all of these. Okay. So I don't track my spending in the same way that you might be used to seeing other people do i don't um track it to the penny i can't tell you that i spent seven pounds 23 on i don't know the 22nd of august i can't tell you that it just doesn't work for me and it's not the way that i like to budget instead i'm more concerned about the money that i have left over so what I'm going to do in these weekly check-ins, um, I will talk about, from what I can remember, a general overview of what I've spent and we'll focus on the money that I have left over and we'll do it that way. Just because it works for me, I probably am never going to get to the stage where I can tell you to the penny and write you out a list. I think that's great that a lot of people are able to do that and they have to be really disciplined, but yeah, it's just not me. <laughs> it's, it's just not a bit of me. So we're not going to do that. And we're gonna start with cash envelopes. Right, so facials doesn't have anything because we did stuff facials. I probably need to remove this envelope to be fair, but I'll do that another time. Okay, food. So in food, I stuffed 250 pounds last week and left over, I've got 20, 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 pounds which means that I've spent 170, yeah, 170 pounds has been spent. Um, we did a big food shop on Sunday, um, and that's where most of this money has gone, to be honest. This 80 pounds should be enough money for the rest of the month, because what I normally do is a big shop right next to payday, and then I might top up with like fresh ingredients during the month. Um, so yeah, 80 pounds for the rest of September should be fine. With food, not food, just on food, fun. I stuffed 100 pounds in here last week and left over, I have 20, 40, 60, 70. And I've got a two pound in there as well. So 72 pounds. Now I know that I spent eight pound on lottery tickets well a lottery ticket and a scratch card yesterday so every payday i just i always do this i buy myself and i can show you actually i get myself a maybe i should cover this up in case i win <laughs> in case i win i don't need to, do, to um i don't know if you can do that but yeah try and scan my thing but yeah i get myself a let me show this one actually get myself a set for life um, national lottery ticket basically if i win i'll get ten thousand pounds every month for the rest of the year so great so i get that that's three pounds and i treat myself to a five pound scratch card 
okay so this is not me advocating for gambling i've never really won a huge amount of money um but yeah it's just something i always do with my fun money when i get paid and we will scratch this one off together quickly so this one i could get 100 grand a month or a year so what's that 1.2 million let me scratch this off and see you're gonna shake and i apologize but maybe you're gonna witness me winning a lot of money no i doubt it <laughs> uh, let's see i don't think done anything here so what have i got a bike and a plane and surprise surprise there are no bikes and no planes this one matched two identical symbols yep yeah. surprise surprise no identical symbols <laughs> um if yours weighs more than theirs in this one i win so mine 15 they've got i'm, I'm really shaking this thing sorry yeah nope and then um in a row if the two numbers add up to exactly 10 i win um yeah didn't win did i what bike plane definitely not there um right so that was a waste of waste of a fiver but to be fair i'm gonna do it again next month because it's just something i like to do with my fun money um, and then £20 I spent on, we went out for lunch yesterday while I was at work. So I think that's what I spent the £20 on. Um, so yeah, the £72 left in there. I haven't spent anything else from anywhere else. So hair still got money, lashes, nails, pedicures, personal care, all the same. Let's do sinking funds and check in there so i spent eight pounds from my nephew's sinking fund um i just bought him a like a fan that clips onto prams just because i was browsing on amazon and because of how hot it's been like is it is it boiling where you are if you're in like the south um so i'm in and around london and 30 degrees every single day until sunday and i hate it and i know some of you will be like oh my god you're so miserable why would you hate the sun it's so nice like no english sun british sun whatever you want to call it is not the same as when you're on a holiday and it's 30 degrees it's here right now it's stifling okay i don't have air conditioning in my house i don't have a pool i don't have you know all-inclusive um what do, you, what do i like to drink on holiday pina coladas or a frozen strawberry daiquiri it is hot okay <laughs> and i don't like it all right so anyway i bought my nephew a uh, um, little fan to clip onto his pram and that was 7.99 from amazon um and i've just taken it out of this change that he has in there and uh, so he i believe he had 110 pounds last week and this week he's got 20 40 60 70 80 90 100 and then change in there so he still has a decent amount of money eating out <laughs> so eating out had 50 pounds and now it only has 70p because yeah i have an issue with takeaways to be fair um we went to see some family over the weekend and we ordered a chinese takeaway my mum and i said we would split it um the cost of it and that pretty much swallowed up all of the 50 pounds and then i can't tell you what i spent the other 10 pounds on but i bought something i bought something that was in the eating out category so there's 70p left and then f of fund wasn't stuffed gifts hasn't been touched home i bought some flowers as always so this is basically for fresh flowers um and there was six pounds in change in here which is what i use for the flowers so we still got 30 pounds that i stuffed and i always get my flowers from aldi just because they're cheap and they last long so that works for me shopping still has its 10 pounds although that's um, i've actually found something i want to buy so that's gonna go 
Okay, so that is the check-in. Simple, easy, to the point, no chaos <laughs> like last week. Um, so let's get to the, uh, I'm calling these check-ins and chit-chats. So we'll say this is the chit-chat bit because we've done the check-in. Um, I have some side hustle money here. So I have 20, 40, 60. 65 70 75 so this money is from um some market research that i've done and i did an ad over on my instagram as well which i've been paid for now this is not all the money i made from the market research and the ad what i do with my side hustle money and i'll go into this in more detail in a future video is i split in half basically half of it goes straight towards whatever i feel like so i have a monzo pot and i would just chuck half of any side hustle money in there and i'll spend it on anything i want uh, i should have mentioned in last week's video i probably did that i also put the first 50 pounds of side hustle money into christmas and then i am topping up my emergency fund because i spent some money out of there so i put a chunk of money into my emergency fund and then this is what i have left over once i've done those other things and i'll stuff that into some savings challenges so with the 75 pounds we are going to split between three challenges today so luxury is going to get 25 so in luxury, once I organize my notes, we have 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. So 275. And in luxury, we are saving up for... What are we saving up for? Ah, the Louis Vuitton. I want to say that the PM um, Louise earrings. So the ver the smallest size of the Louise earrings I am saving up for at the moment. I'm just going to colour in my tracker. And I will leave that to dry over there. That um, tracker and envelope is from Planning with Ella. Okay. I'm going to put £25 as well into my house deposit fund. So, another, where's the 20? 20. And then taking one of these fives and I'll put that back. Okay. So, in the house deposit, there's, oh, there's, a, <laughs> there's something I don't know off the top of my head. I want to say about £3,800, but I'll put a screenshot up on the screen. That's in a money box LISA or lifetime ISA. And then in cash, I've got 51, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. So 480. And if I can pick these up. Yeah, there we are. So that one is building up. And I just like to do this with my side hustle money because, well, what I did last year was I literally just saved every extra penny that I made. Oh, I don't get to color one in today. Do I? I don't think I do. Um, I literally just saved every extra penny that I made um, with side hustle money last year and it left me feeling a bit burnt out it left me feeling like what's the point if i'm just saving everything you know i don't do that with my normal um like everyday money that i get from working so why am i just saving every single penny um so yeah that's why i spend a big chunk of it that's why um i'm topping up even though i suppose topping up your emergency fund is savings but it's not taking away from my main um budget with my salary doing that and then i put 50 pounds towards christmas just because i wanted to challenge myself to see if i could side hustle my christmas money um and then the last 25 pounds is going into invisalign now i'm going to do something annoying there's 30 pounds in there um so that's this one is this is 50 right 50 
I think she's got five. She got five there. Now, I like my aim is for this binder to only have fifty pound notes in it. Um, so I'm gonna swap a fifty pound from Christmas with this fifty pounds for no other reason than I like the way a load of 50 pounds looks. <laughs> There's no reason for me to do this. Um, yeah, it's just my my need for everything to be the same. And yeah, you can diagnose me in the comments with whatever, whatever that <laughs> issue is. So yeah, I want everything in here to be a 50. So I'm going to put a 50 pound note into there because it's so pretty and then we'll just put the five into the next one and top that up as and when we can i need to cross this off okay so let that dry okay I feel like yeah this this was going well last week <laughs> had a bit of disaster but this one is going well right so the last or second to last thing i need to do is i'm going to show you guys some happy mail so the first thing actually let's do this one the first thing is from pan budget repeat who is somebody that i have spoken to on instagram for a little while lovely lady she reached out to me and said um can i send you a tracker so there's a bit of a story behind this i go into my office at work once a week and every week that i go in i always buy myself a large black americano from costa and i think now they're like three pound sixty and i was just plucking the money from somewhere so whether it be from that pot that i said i've got on my monzo where i just chuck in half of my side hustle money or if it was for fun or eating out I, I didn't budget for it i wasn't saving up for these coffees and like i said three pounds sixty a coffee it's not cheap so i shared that on my instagram story and i said i need to set up a sinking fund for these but she said to me oh if you don't have a tracker i don't mind making you one so she made me this free of charge um, she didn't um, charge me for postage, anything. She's so kind. So, oh, neat. So, like I said, plan, budget repeat. She's got an Etsy shop. She's got an Instagram. And you can email her if you if you needed to email her. Um, she sent me some free, well, they're, they're all free, aren't they? But <laughs> sent me some extra bits, which is so kind. So she sent me this um, cash breakdown slip. And she sent me this shine bright like a diamond tracker as well, which is so cute. And then she sent me this. And it says, no coffee, no worky. Because like I said, I always get coffee when I'm at work. And each of these icons is worth four pounds. And then the total that I could save up is 40 pounds. So that'd be like, what, 10, 11 weeks worth of coffee, which would be amazing. So I had to show this to you guys. I will link her in the description as well. I'll link her Etsy shop um, so you can go over there. So thank you to Plan Budget Repeat. And then the other thing, I purchased this with my own money. Um, this is a jar, plastic jar um from labelle uk store i think again i'll link her down below um on etsy and this just has all of my spare change i was just chucking it in like a i don't know a space <laughs> i was just chucking it um all my space my spare change that is um and i didn't have a purpose for it i'm not a, um not a penny challenge girl i've done it before it takes forever I don't even want to do the 1 to 100 or the 1 to 50, whatever it is. I don't want to do it. Um, <laughs> I just feel like it takes forever. And then you've got to have like a jar or something to store the money, which is why I like this, because obviously you can just lay flat and out of the way. Um, somebody on Instagram again um, DM'd me and said that they use, they save up their spare change throughout the year 
and then they will um, deposit that money into their stocks and shares ISA and by doing that they've managed to like top up their ISA by an extra £100 or £200 a year I was like oh that's a great idea it has a purpose it's you know I'm not feeling like oh god I'm just trudging along with this challenge that's not getting anywhere so I'm going to do the same thing I have a stocks and shares ISA with Vanguard so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my spare change into this and then I, if it gets full before the end of the year, which hopefully it will, I'll put it into those, I'll separate out into those like, little baggies and start again. Um, but yeah, I thought this was cute. It was very reasonably priced and I put, I picked the vinyl that I wanted it to say spare change. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. And then finally, I said in last week's video that I was going to give away these stickers. I'm hoping, you know what? Because I can't, I don't want to peel them when I give them away. I'm pretty, I'm almost 100% sure they're stickers <laughs> or trackers, wherever they are. I'm giving them away. Um, and I'm going to give away a bundle on here. And I still need to do an Instagram story where I give away a bundle on there as well. So. Uh, I'm going to put up um, like a uh, recording of me picking the winner. I've just assigned a number to all of the comments and then you should see if you've won, you'll see your name come up on screen. And if you can DM me on Instagram, so at the bougie budget underscore UK, DM me on Instagram and I will arrange to send these out to you. Okay. I think that is everything. And I filmed this video, I'm gonna stand up, oh, 21 minutes, still kind of long, but you know, <laughs> we got there. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully you like this format of checking in, even though I can't, like I said, I can't give you a breakdown of everything that I spent. Hopefully this still works for you. And I will see you again next week. Thank you, bye.